do better than our Florida National Guard, who is trained to protect us and keep us safe and to operate in a time of emergencies. Sheriff Grady Judd expressing his support today to deploy the Na Florida National Guard to prisons statewide to help ease serious staffing shortages. However, Tampa representatives think this is a short-term solution for a long-term problem. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Deans in Tallahassee with details on the deployment. The Joint Legislative Budget Commission approved a proposal today that will send Florida's National Guard into prisons across the state to help with the staffing crisis. Some are saying this is a Band-Aid solution, while others are saying this is the only option. All in favor say yay. 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 All opposed say nay. Nay. No. Okay. The amendment is still adopted. After a lengthy debate followed by several public comments, lawmakers approved plans that allow Florida's National Guard to substitute as correctional officers to aid in the ongoing staffing crisis in prisons. Back in Tampa, Representative Ventress Driscoll is calling it an expensive short-term plan. It's a Band-Aid. Uh, we know that the infrastructure in our prisons are crumbling, and it's just appalling that the governor would want to take this sort of uh, a tactic. While Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd supports the arrangement. So unlike Representative Driscoll and all that group, I want to encourage you to send your loved ones to apply to work at the Department of Corrections. It's noble. Representatives questioned how this could affect other duties of the Guardsmen. Um, based on, upon our current assessments, the National Guard will still have full capacity to support the citizens of Florida if we support the Department of Corrections. The approved budget proposal freed up over $31 million to cover the cost of activating the Guard. The proposal didn't mention how many of Florida's National Guard members would be activated, but it did specify that the Guard members wouldn't be in direct supervision of inmates. Reporting from Tallahassee, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.